Today on the program, we discuss the law and law enforcement, the duties of the police and the role of lawyers in the field of justice as teammates, not opponents. At separate interviews, we speak to a legal practitioner, Mr. Alubukola Shemolu, and the police PRO Zone 2, Delacqua Badmos. Both of them disagree to agree that through a synergy, fundamental human rights of Nigerians as enshrined in the Constitution can be guaranteed. Also this week, highlights of the legal year in Katsina State and the Federal Capital Territory. That's the lineup on this episode of Law Weekly. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Millicent Walker. Democracy thrives in an environment where lawyers and the police work hand in hand in accordance with the dictates of the laws. But is that the case? In Nigeria, when a suspect is in police custody and a legal representative appears on behalf of the suspect, the investigative police officer handling the case on seeing a lawyer often tends to become uncomfortable. We sent out a questionnaire and these were the responses. For the first question, we asked, do most police have good relationships with lawyers? Most of them said fairly. 22% of them believe the relationship is poor. Asked if police were afraid of lawyers, for example, if someone told the police that they are lawyers, will the police back off? It was split between yes and maybe at about 40%. Do the police lie about the law? While well, 72% said, sometimes. When asked if the police know all the laws, majority said no, only a fraction said yes. On the question, why do good lawyers support or defend criminals? Well, someone said a suspect is innocent until proven guilty, others often for money, and one did say it's quite hard for him for her to answer. On the issue of bail, it was divided, with the highest number saying lawyers face problems getting free bail for clients in police custody. So a few people have spoken, but what about the police? I think uh, the police, uh, the lawyer, um, they are, what would I call it now, they are both, you know, player in the temple of justice. And what does that suggest is that they, there must be cordial relationship. Uh, although most times um, we've seen, you know, police complain of lawyers, you know, obstructing them while performing their lawful duty. While lawyers have also said that the police uh, won't allow them to be friends with them. So I think basically, and I've also seen when uh, lawyers were praised the police and police presses, you know, the lawyer. So basically it has to do with um, the relationship supposed to be cordial. Um, we might not shy away from the fact that some instances, not most instances, it may not be cordial. And I, that might be due to individual differences. A policeman is, we suppose, sadly, know about the law because um, it is with the law that, you know, you handle uh, cases. So I think every police officer is supposed to be equipped and be readily, you know, handled with laws of the land. So basically, I will tell you that uh, an average police officer must know about the law. And if you ask me, they know about the law. But when you are asking about whether they lie about the law, how can somebody lie about the law? Because it's well spelled out in all, you know, the law books. And when you now talk about the law enforcement, when it comes to rule of law, the law enforcement, I think uh, the judiciary have a lot to do with that. Um, the police also have their own part to play in ensuring that laws are being obeyed and that uh, the laws of the land are also being preserved. So when it comes to policing and law, policing doing the law enforcement for the rule of law, I think basically our duty is preservation of law and enforcement of law. So if we're coming regarding to this, 
I will say that the police has done their own part and they have done it uh, probably very well.